supporters play a vital role right across the bay. They're sometimes the first person that a patient comes into contact with. They put the patient at ease, they can be transporting them from A&E. The porters are an important cog within the trust. Uh, without the porters, the whole hospital wouldn't function. It is seen as a backroom service, but it is very, very important to have the porters interacting with all the staff, including the nursing and the doctors, and the role they play is absolutely vital within this trust. The porters play a key role in uh, supporting the radiology department. They bring patients to us on a daily basis, 24-7. Um, the demand for our services is very high. We can have 11 areas requiring portering support on any one day. Porters collect the correct patient uh, and the correct mode of transport and make sure that the department runs efficiently um, because if the patients don't arrive on time, there may be delays to the patient's treatment and ultimately the patient's delayed getting home. We work with the Warden Departments um, in partnership, um, working closely with the patients, transferring them from Warden Departments, they're putting the patient at ease, talking to them. The porters are dedicated to their role. It's um, a busy hospital, nobody sees this, it gets overlooked, but the porters are a very big part of the trust. Porters at Westmoreland in general, the public perceive them to just uh, push a wheelchair from ward to main entrance, where in fact the job is, entails a lot more. They're like the backstage crew in um, a theatre performance. They are absolutely vital to the running of the show. Um, we couldn't do our job without them. They're responsible for the rubbish removal from all the wards, the segregation of the rubbish. Uh, post from the wards going down to, to be sorted into the post room which then goes out into the public sector or to the um, respective clinics that where it's being sent. Our porters do an incredible job on a day-to-day -day basis. They recognise when the department is escalating up to level four and we've got far too many patients in the department and we need some help. They could be asked to go up onto the ward to move a patient down to x-ray which could mean them going onto a, an x-ray trolley. So that would then need the clinical staff then to help the porter pass like the patient onto the trolley and then take the patient down to x-ray alongside the porter. The porters work 24-7, um, day and night. So all these things behind the scenes of moving the waste and the linen, that's all still going on, whether it be in the morning at 10 o'clock or it be at 10 o'clock at night or 4 o'clock in the morning, that's all still going on. And this is all behind the scenes that patients don't usually see. But like I said, it's a big, big part they play within the organisation. <laughs>